A long-time Cleveland Catholic Church is closed tonight, but the fight to reopen its doors is still very much alive. About half a dozen protesters staged an all-day lock-in at St. Emmerich's. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee has been following this story all day. She joins us live from our newsroom with the latest. Deb? Well, the idea was to get the attention of the bishop and Rome. Tonight, we know that at least one of those goals was achieved. The bells rang at St. Emmerich Catholic Church like they do every day, but this wasn't a normal day. A handful of protesters barricaded themselves inside the church, refusing to leave until they could meet with Bishop Richard Lennon about his decision to close their parish. The lock-in came on the heels of the final mass at the 106-year-old church, built by the Hungarian ancestors of its members, the last of about 50 Cleveland-area parishes closed in a restructuring of the diocese. As onlookers began to gather, it seemed the protesters were prepared for the long haul. But then Cleveland police arrived, and an hour later, the protesters emerged from the church with a promise. What we were promised is that the bishop would negotiate and he will not back down from this. He will talk to us about the possibility of working out an agreement. A promise made by the second district police commander. You know, I understand their plight and I understand they're passionate about their church and I don't have you know any problem with that, but they had to do this in, a, in the right way and this was not the, the right way to do it. The parishioners don't know when they'll meet with the bishop or if they'll convince him to keep their church open. I can't say that. Only God knows that. Now, the diocese issued its own statement this evening. However, there was no mention of a meeting with the bishop. The statement called the lock-in an unlawful occupation. It said the diocese will continue to work in cooperation with police to ensure public safety and the security of church property. Live in the newsroom, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5. Thank you, Deb.